Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com, and I had a doctor reach out to me and tell me that um, this doctor's bite turbos kept falling off and, you know, what materials should we use? And I think that's, that's chronically happening. Obviously, you need to think about, well, where you're putting them, first of all, and what material you're using, and also, of course, isolation and things, but which materials do I use? And there isn't one set material. A lot of it's going to depend on what I'm trying to use them for. <laughs> but, um, and I have a ton of content already on bite tail bros. Most of this I would say is in our straight wire course, which is available. If you go to straight smile solutions, go to classes, you'll see there's a straight wire course, which is all digital. I think it's 13 or 14 C units. It's really affordable. Um, you can access all that. You can also find it if you search by keyword within our YouTube channel, which has over 10,000 videos to date. But anyways, that's free, but you don't get CE for that. But I think historically I've used probably three different materials. I mean, my go-to, to be honest, I know it's a little bit old fashioned, has always been key tack, you know, and I've got videos on how to do that. I mean, it's just powder, liquid, cheap, 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 cheap. That's why, and you just, you know, you know, powder, liquid it in, ball it up, make a little ball, like the size of a um, grain of rice. That's kind of, eh. A grain of rice size ball, if that's a thing. Cotton pellet size ball, a big cotton pellet, like tip of a Q-tip. Um, and smash it on the tooth. Let them lightly tap, tap, tap on it so it's not like an annoying ball. Just, you know, it's a nice comfortable ball. Um, or, you know, smush it down with your finger a little bit so it's a little bit flat. And let it dry, you know. It's, it's self-cure. It'll it'll dry in a few few hours. And Ketac's easy because it's so easy to scrape off. And yeah, they can knock them off, but I'm not only going to put one on. I'm going to put quite a few on. So if one comes off, there's always other ones, right? Um, I like to put them on baby teeth if I have them because then uh, often I don't have to take them off um, or worry about getting all the residual off because the tooth's going to fall out anyways. But if it's all permanent teeth, well, I mean, really, a lot of it's going to depend on the location and what's going on. So I really... You can watch all my other videos on that. We have tons of videos on that. So Ketac, I guess, is one of my faves just because it's cheap and easy. Um, you know, falls off. I'm not like, oh, no, I just spent $20 worth of composite. Um, beyond that, yeah. Then otherwise, I can use um, any kind of composite. I, you know, like, like be like an old composite, not old, like expired, but a shade that nobody likes or something like that. Um, and then I'll take the tip of one of those little pens it's not like a pen it's you know the little things that you use for like denture sores that like it's like a transfer pen um it's like blue and you can just you know dip it in any type of, of monomer um or a little bit flowable or a little bit primer and mix it into the composite like i think i show this in this video right here or you can even take a piece of articulating paper and like do some shavings of that the blue um and mix it in with the composite and make a ball same same way you did the other one i mean obviously if you make your composite ball too big, it's not gonna stick, right? Because it's not gonna cure. So you're gonna have to layer it in order to do it. Um, do I etch? No. I mean, if they keep falling off, then maybe. It wouldn't be. I mean, my, my goal is to make it really easy to pop it off later when I don't need it and not have to drill if possible. So I'd rather it err on the side of it falling off than me having to drill it. So yeah, that's pretty much the two different ways I make posterior bite turbos. It's never been an issue. So if yours is chronically falling off, could also be your patient is eating all kinds of candy and stuff. So think if it's happening in all your patients, you're doing something wrong. Um, if it's just happening on one patient, consider what that patient's eating. All right, thanks so much.